Welcome to Family Night. My name is Miss Myers and I'll be reading Merry Christmas Splat. This book's written by Rob Scotton. It's very important to write a letter to Santa, said Splat. How else will he know what to bring you for Christmas? Seymour nodded. Splat's pencil scratched across the paper until finished he exclaimed and proudly showed off his letter. Seymour was impressed. Splat's little sister wasn't. Dear Santa, can I please have a really big present for Christmas? Thank you, Splat. P.S. I've been a very good cat. Only good cats get really big presents from Santa, she said. Are you sure you've been good? Of course, said Splat. She gave Splat a look that only little sisters can give. Really? Splat stuck his nose in the air and marched out of the kitchen. I have been good, he said, and Seymour nodded. In fact, I've been very good. This time Seymour shrugged and Splat had an awful thought that made his tail quiver and twitch. Oh no. Maybe I haven't been good enough. Splat tried hard to remember. Yes, he decided, I'm sure I have, but just in case. Mom, cried Splat, I'm going to help you get everything ready for Christmas. Oh dear, said his mom. Splat took that to mean, thank you very much. You're a really good little cat. And he set off being about being very ever so helpful. Very, very helpful. I've washed the Christmas dishes, Mom, said Splat. Uh, thank you, Splat, said his mom, but the dishes weren't dirty. I know, replied Splat, and I still wash them. I'm just so good. The Christmas tree is decorated now, Mom, called Splat. I thought it was already done, said his mom. Not even close, said Splat, but now it is. Oh my, he put so many decorations on the tree that it's falling over. I'm going to clean the, uh, clear the snow from the path, Mom, said Splat. Wait, his mom called. Don't open the door. Splat, the snow went, uh, fell right on top of his head. Being so good is very tiring, said Splat. It certainly is, said his mom. I think I'll go to bed now, Splat announced. Good idea, said his mom. Splat snuggled under the covers and closed his eyes, but his eyes wouldn't stay closed. Maybe I'd better wait up for Santa and tell him how good I've been, thought Splat. So Splat took his flashlight from the drawer and waited. All was quiet until clip-clop, clip-clop, Splat heard reindeer on the roof. But the clip-clop slowly turned into tick-tock. It was only his clock. Splat rolled over in time to see a shadow appear on the wall. Santa, Splat called. But it was only Seymour making an ice angel on the window. Splat huffed, plumped up his pillow, and waited some more. Santa had to come soon, thought Splat, but the rest of the night passed silently, peacefully, with not even a whisper. Boys and girls, I see Santa. Santa is so quiet that Splat doesn't even see him, and Splat's looking the wrong direction. Must be that Christmas magic. Christmas morning shone through Splat's bedroom window, but he was not the least bit excited. His little sister came in to wake him. I guess I haven't been good enough after all, said Splat. I told you so, said his little sister, but you can play with my kitty if you like. Thanks, Splat said in a little voice. Splat's little sister led him down the stairs. It was too quiet. There were no presents around the tree. The rest of the family was nowhere to be seen. 
Because I haven't been good enough, said Splat. Santa hasn't visited us at all. Poor Splat. But then Splat's family leaped out from behind the sofa. Merry Christmas, Splat, they cried. And they were holding a really big present just for Splat. It's the best Christmas present ever, cried Splat. And it must be a really amazing present because look at that huge smile on his face. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and um, have a great evening making your forts. <laughs>